Um, family farms struggle to survive. And um, we had something that was so sort of neat happen. Um, a neighbor wound up having to sell his sell huge chunks of his of his farm and that was sad but another friend a, a friend of a friend bought that land so that the other farm could farm it and because they had better business practices it, one farm has become larger and has begun to become a conglomerate and it's like you have mixed feelings about it because it's like, well, that's what you do to survive so that farming survives so that we still stay the breadbasket of America, that it comes at a price. And this was about feeling ambivalent about what had happened to my neighbors. This is called The Doctor Plays a Farmer. The doctor plays a farmer, and he is delighted with his purchase of 80 acres adjacent our little patch of blue giant and alfalfa. I see him park and walk and grin, strolling from his pickup across dist topsoil, feeling, quote, fresh and anew and alive and somehow more aware and in touch with myself, unquote. He confirms at my inquiry, exposing his teeth to me. I'm glad for him, his willingness to put soil under his skin for being open to August sweat and January frostbite. He follows his dreams, and I follow a grain truck past my neighbor of many years, the sudden Hosea of adulterous land, divorced from it against his will by a law called bank. And I feel guilt for my conversation with a trespasser.